As you can see, this is a bit of a different setup. I'm not at my desk. And this video isn't going to be like my usual video. It's not going to be full of edits, zoom ups, sounds, whatever. Instead, it's a video about how I study and my methods of studying that have worked for me and that I'm going to be using for my summer exams in two weeks' time. Before I go into it, I just want to say that this video is definitely inspired by the amazing Carmen. She is such a good YouTuber and her how to study video is unreal. But her methods are different to mine and I'd like to share my methods with you. Just let you know that this is definitely inspired by Carmen. And also, just because this is the way I study doesn't mean that how everybody else has to do it this is just my preferred ways i'd like to share them with you in case anybody is looking for new methods of studying first thing i want to talk about is motivation and fighting procrastination i've been procrastinating study my whole school of life since i got into first year when i was 13. i have never been a great studier i'm not good at retaining information at all i'm not very academic that's okay just because i'm not the most academic i'm good at other things but recently i've been doing really really bad in my exams like my christmas exams i failed a couple of exams and it's not likely for me to fail i can get close to failing but I've never gotten under 40%. So for the summer, I really want to try a bit harder for my own good. My first tip for motivation and fighting procrastination is self-care. I cannot explain to you how important it is to have self-care before you go into studying. By self-care, I mean making sure you're eating properly, staying hydrated, get dressed, don't do your studying in your pajamas because you just want to get back into bed, brush your teeth, do your skincare, brush your hair, do your hair if you feel like it, if you like straight in there currently, if it makes you feel better about yourself. Do whatever you want to make yourself feel good and that you're going to be motivated to get some study Done. because if you feel good inside everything around you is gonna feel good also i want to apologize for how messy my hair looks oh my god another important step is time management set when you're gonna study so when i wake up in the morning i get my breakfast i get dressed i do my hair and then i sit down and do my studying so then in the evening time i can do other stuff like hang out with friends hang out with my family bake for example anything like that it's really helpful to have time management so you don't sit around for the whole week before the exam thinking i should really study oh, my bed is comfy like that type of thing and my last tip is do it for your own satisfaction Distraction. Don't think of exams as pleasing everyone around you, your teachers, your parents, your siblings. If you wake up one day and feel like I need to get better grades, I'm kind of failing. Do it for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else because the results only matter to you. You're the one who studied for the exam and sat the exam and you're the one that's going to get the most satisfaction out of it. Next up, we have environment, which is extremely important for studying. And I'm going to say it and people are going to hate me for saying it. Sit at a desk and not in your bed. A lot of my friends do their homework in their bed. And to be honest, I don't know how they do it. I'll get too comfy i'll watch youtube and then i'll fall asleep for like three hours and that's my study time gone your desk is just a better place to study all together because number one it's not that comfortable so you won't want to spend a couple of hours there you're going to want to do your study get out of the chair and go outside or whatever or even back into your bed when you're done studying and also sitting in your bed doing your homework is extremely bad for your posture and your back muscles trust me i have been there i am actually caught up in my shoulders for like the last three weeks because i started doing homework in my bed again because i was lazy and then i moved to the desk and it helps in the long run it is just worth doing it at your desk instead of your bed. Make sure your environment is not too distracting. I can't really say much because I have a mirror in front of me. One corner has my makeup and I have pictures scarred all over the wall. But I'm used to that so it's different for me. But if you are easily distracted, do your studying in a very blank room. Even if you can get a room with just a desk and a desk lamp, that'd be really great. And along with that, give yourself enough space for when you're studying. If you're going to be studying on a tiny little desk, you're not going to have enough space. Make sure you have plenty of room to put all your books out so you can see everything in front of you. Visual learning, very, very helpful. And the last point I want to talk about is podcast, music and story times. If you're anything like me, you cannot do any form of homework or studying without something in the background. I cannot work in silence. That's why I'm not great in exams because I get distracted very easy from silence. Like the clock ticking or like a bird chirping, that distracts me. If I have something loud and proud in the background, I will keep working. I don't know why, but that's what works for me. So what I like to listen to mainly is story times, especially Mr. Nightmare and Lorneal. If you're not into crime or scary stories, I wouldn't recommend those to YouTubers, but I love them. Their story times can last an hour, 20 minutes five minutes whatever i just put them on a playlist and they keep going for podcasts you can listen to the likes of anything goes by emma chamberlain if you want to listen to music you can listen to whatever you want there's study playlists and instrumental playlists all over spotify but for me i like my stuff loud and brown now on to how i study don't mind me i'm just trying to find the notes if you have textbooks or school books like my school it is full of wordy ugly paragraphs and really the points you need are in there but they're just surrounded by this big wordy vomit mess and it's really hard to make your points from reading out of these massive paragraphs. So what I like to do is break down wordy paragraphs into smaller quick notes, which really helps because you're getting the main points. But there is certain steps you have to take when you're taking notes. I followed the SSE method, which is stage, explain an example for every single exam question I do. Let's say it's to do with a catabolic reaction in biology. If you do biology, you'll know what I'm talking about. Stage, catabolic reaction. Explain, breaking down a larger molecule into a smaller molecule. Example, respiration. See, it's pretty easy when you do it like that. There's also another method. It's called pi, point, illustrate, explain. That's really, really 
really helpful and trust me it works for every single subject rewrite your notes in a way that you will read them and do this multiple times until you feel you know it i have some of my study books here i'm going to show you exactly how i do it recently i've been studying biology this is a sample answer from one of the questions that could come up in my summer exam the fibrous structure protein equals keratin and it's found in the body in the hair and nails pretty simple question i broke that down to a smaller question not like the actual question on the exam paper the one in my book just says fibrous structure protein equals keratin found in the human body in the hair and nails the question in the exam papers was something like name a protein with a fibrous structure found in the human body explain in the human body where this fibrous structure protein is found like a really long question when you can just break it down into really small points it's a lot easier i write all the questions and their answers it's not very aesthetic it's not very woo pretty or whatever but it's just the way i remember it once i have this written out in my book a couple of times i now move on to my laptop i mix my studying between books and the laptop because it's a different environment it's a different way of studying and it keeps me engaged it's exactly what i wrote in the book just typed up then once i'm completely sure i know everything i go into a bigger notebook which is where i write out the exam question and answer everything on it without looking at any of my notes which i did today i swear on my life i did not cheat i just learned all of my stuff from my laptop and my book i got full marks but this is not the end of it i now have a printed exam paper that i'm gonna do probably tomorrow without looking over any of my notes to see if i know everything but i don't let myself off scot-free after that i have to pass the paper three times before i can say i'm finished studying and that's the way i study basically write 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 everything out until you can actually learn it this method applies to absolutely every subject i do it's quite long but when you actually perform it it's quite simple next up we have some tips to help you study what i find really handy is making out these checklists that i put on my wall i basically just get a sticky note write each topic i'm doing each subject and then once i pass the paper three times i can mark off that topic and that's how i know i'm done i personally like it a lot because again it's visual and i also love the feeling of marking off something like it's gone it's over oh my god it's the best feeling ever it goes kind of hand in hand with the checklist but whiteboards are actually very handy i don't have a physical whiteboard i do use online whiteboards they're great they're free a study tip that i actually mentioned in the how i study section the c and pi methods definitely look into them because they are the best way to answer your questions and get full marks avoid over explaining in your answers there's a lot of disadvantages to writing too much in the exam it takes up a lot of the time the other disadvantage is that the examiner is going to get really bored really quickly and trust me they do and they could mark you lower for having so much words depending on what education system you're under i would highly recommend following and learning the marking scheme therefore you know exactly how to get full marks on your answers and my last study tip is to study in song you're probably wondering what the heck does that mean study in song is basically exactly what it sounds like you study in a song basically what you do is you take the main points that you need to learn about a certain topic put it to one of your favorite songs eventually you will not be able to hear the song without hearing your learned off school version the last area i want to cover is the remember to section studying can be a lot on your brain and it's something it's not used to taking in so much information at one time you need to remember to take breaks don't study for six hours on a straight line it is not good for your brain it'll get tired it'll get burnt out you'll probably start crying it's not great you won't retain any information after a certain amount of time without a break take your breaks it's super important or else your brain just slowly shuts off and you won't retain all the information you need ask for help if you need it from teachers siblings parents whoever you feel can help you we all need a little bit of assistance when it comes to school there's no shame in it whatsoever and my last tip for this video if you're aiming for a specific grade work for the grade higher than that if you're aiming for a b like i am for all of my exams because i'm not a straight a student i'm usually a straight b student work for the a put in the effort you would if you wanted to get full mark because a lot of the time you could forget something when you're sitting there in the exam but if you remember some of the information you learned for an a you're more likely to get a b than a c and that is all of my study tips hopefully you guys like this video and these tips actually help i'm definitely going to be using these tips for my exams in two weeks and i'll let you know how i get on if i fail i'll delete this video <laughs> but yeah if you like this type of video please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in my next video hopefully